Last week, I reported President Bush's nomination of a private prison employee to a federal judgeship in Tennessee's Middle District. Gus Perrier is the top lawyer at Nashville-based Corrections Corporation of America, the world's largest private prison company. Stephanie Lindquist is a professor of law and political science at Vanderbilt University. She has been a neutral observer to Mr. Perrier's nomination, but describes the role played by a very biased, very unlikely, and apparently very effective impediment to this nomination. Alex Friedman is a former uh, inmate in a CCA-run prison who has uh, publicly challenged the Perrier confirmation. I'm associate editor of Prison Legal News, the vice president of the Private Corrections Institute, a nonprofit that opposes prison privatization. And I'm also a former prisoner. I served six years at the CCA-operated South Central Correctional Facility before being released on November 1st, 1999. The website that I started regarding this campaign against peryear.org um, has generated quite a bit of interest, uh, not only from CCA. CCA has visited the site around 65 times, but also from the Senate Judiciary Committee and other members in the U.S. Senate. One has to bear in mind that for the most part, when judges are nominated to the federal bench, that is not a newsworthy story. Uh, the confirmation usually sails through or the hearings are held without much fanfare. Uh, and so the mere fact that this particular confirmation or this particular nomination has achieved sufficient notoriety to land on the pages of Time Magazine is significant. And that I think is in part due to the grassroots campaign that has been brought to bear on the issue. Time Magazine broke a news story that uh, involved a CCA whistleblower, a former employee, Mr. Tom Jones, who had been employed with CCA as a senior manager. According to Mr. Jones, the, uh, the company cleansed some of its internal reporting by using two sets of quality assurance reports. One set was labeled for attorney-client attorney privilege only, and that was for in-house use, and those included things like the number of riots, the number of suicides and suicide attempts, uh, the number of escapes, the number of very serious incidents. A second report was generated for distribution to the public or to contracting government agencies when necessary. And those reports were much more general, did not include specifics, and may not have included all the incidents in the internal reports. Mr. Jones specifically alleged that uh, Mr. Perrier, as the company's general counsel, was aware of and actually orchestrated uh, some of this whitewashing of the company's internal quality assurance reporting. CCA is quoted in the Time article denying those allegations and describes their incident reports this way. A final audit report is made available to our customers. Appropriate information gathered in the audits is separately provided to our legal department. Mr. Friedman does not simply question Mr. Perrier's professional record, but also questions his private affiliations. Uh, Mr. Perrier indicated to the Senate Judiciary Committee that he was a member of the Bellmead Country Club. The Bellmead Country Club is the most exclusive private club in Nashville. Um, it also has a, a somewhat disturbing history. The club did not admit its first black member until 1994 and reportedly still only has one black member today. Uh, uh, that member cannot vote because he's not in the resident voting class, neither are any women. All women have a separate category called lady members and none of them can vote. So you have a resident member class that is all white and all male. In his Senate confirmation testimony, Mr. Perrier responded to questioning about the country club as saying, I am personally aware that there are minority members, but I do not myself know the number. I contacted the club, but they were unable to provide comment for this story. It appears certain, however, that this and other issues surrounding Mr. Perrier's nomination will continue to be explored. From Tennessee, this is Dustin Ogden reporting for Two Toulouse Street Team 08.